missed out on that nice counter pick down the stretch because WE very much trying to split up and flank to get onto the Kog'Maw, whereas you 2 want to keep this map small. But look at the range in deep fights. This is a very short range composition, I feel, on, on, on a lot of these carries here. Cassidy and Gled, if Sven can escape the initial burst of engage, he can orb walk his way out of these fights with the protection and single-handedly kite his way out towards victory. However, there is so much hard engage too. Klet going in from one side, Cassidy from the other side, maybe an Ash Shadow to slow or flash Malzar. If Zen dies, a lot of the damage goes down with him. Yeah, just a lot of potential here in WE. They are going to have to play, I think, a bit more aggressive in this situation. We talk about 20% of their games where Condi just goes off and the team can follow. They're going to need to dig back into that 20% if they're going to try and take on what is a terrifying scaling comp. Yeah, and, and I loved this draft phase, because there was so much adaptation required, throwing out the support bands early. And I honestly feel like G2 got exactly what they wanted out of this. It feels like it because they, they still get the shielding support, whether or not that was the plan beforehand. It's actually down the bottom side, but he's gonna get spotted. Good ward. No Holy. buffs on him. They're pushed in pretty hard. They also don't have heal on Sven, so they gotta, they gotta back up. Tony's got red here as well. In fact, he's also got flash. He might look to take one down. First blood is on the horizon. Cody flashes for it. And there it is. Sees the control ward. Gonna get caught maybe a bit. The bottom line's still pushing so nicely that I don't know if Trick can do too much. Yeah, the question is caught by what? Because they have push in that bottom lane, and he can just now contest this red buff with a lot of fearlessness. He has the support of his Malzahar most likely. I don't know if Kassin's gonna get there quick enough as Ben. He's gonna move himself out of the way. Tarot goes down and Mystic says to take it, and now Sven. Get all these up! It. Maybe a little too much, but Sanjay out of there. Mystic cut into the enemy team. Condi got there in time. Sven gets a kill. The WE not done yet. Here's 957, but Condi already too low. Goes down as well. And now 957's got a flash to protect the Kog'Maw. Well, Oriana doesn't play well in side lanes. LeBlanc does it much better, and that is actually... Uh, Helping them right now. Good arrow. Actually, Charlie's gonna come in as well. Stand United is tricky. He's the first one of the old. The absolute zero against Channel. Pretty big amount of damage coming, but not quite enough. Spent low on the back line. Blast going there. Gets him out of the way, but she ate. Moving forward with the Rift Walkers. Muthi is low. Expect actually traveling. No, it is Muthi. That's called this mouse. Condi takes out Trick finally as WE get themselves a kill. And that's a play they're all waiting for. Well, that ward's annoying. Gotta do it well, though. Yep, double pink ward's required, right, Crapper? If you only have two wards, they're definitely not in the right location right there. Definitely you not. never should do it in the. You can do it in the pit if you have wards to spare, but a single sweep in the pit usually means that you're fine, but they're still launching. Arrow Arrow Arrow. Arrow. Uh -oh. Charge down as well. And there's the old Leon's bang to get wild group, but the damage is a little too much. Time five seven. Flashes forward for the kill. Trick's gonna go down for the second now. Perk diving into the back line, trying to get an assassination, but GA gonna shut that all down. Perks will get away, but WE get two crucial kills. And that's actually really impressive because very few teams pull the trigger from that distance. So Sven was waiting for somebody to get close and walk in front of him, but WE fire from so far away, and that is actually the Kled coming through in that pattern. Yeah, everyone gets the move speed. G2 thinking about harassing this Baron, but that would be a big mistake. Well, WE instead is gonna get the Baron. She Rift walks forward to try and get him off. Scar gonna tank it. One more piece to come in much earlier as well to just you know, get the Kled off. Sven, Sven, Sven. Oh, get out. denied! Works. Buy right. time. Just buying time. Yep. Chilling out, flashes the emo, having some fun, just thoughts back in, and I think Shia is gonna maybe try and chase him down. Good silence, Ben flashes over, Thunder lost Brox, he wanted the kill. A completed item, as we can see in the inventory, it looks like a catch on the Shia, maybe casting a really hard to pin down, but a good talk from Expect could make it happen. Ripbook again, Absolute Zero gonna get cancelled as there's Ben, he's gonna move away, and Shia still got shifts, gonna get himself out, almost gets over the wall, flush snowball from Trick, as the base is just getting destroyed. <laughs> Why are you chasing a Cassidy? Gia yeah, finally gets taken down, but the spell is going to keep him alive even longer. Turret down in top lane, it's just, just the base getting pushed in, and now Gia just wants to cancel back. Top in hit goes down, G2. Oh, so oh, desperate, no. and there's the touch in, but the gang gets taken. There's the Mother Old, he's absolutely dead to Condi. So much physical damage in the top half of the map, and it's just fallen to pieces for G2. You gotta be able to avoid that Ash Arrow even in that situation. They're chasing the Kasten because they figured they'd lose the inhibitor anyway and are trying to get a kill, so WE make the most of it right there. And then the side lane pressure that these matches provided is just Snowball WE forward. And a massive Baron power play there, 6,700 gold. Mystic and Perk doing battle. Mystic in a loop with the shield. There's a lockdown. QSS not going to save him from the boiling arrow. Hits on the trigger as well. That's going to be yet another pin down there as Waterlee. 
Oh, he's going to take down Trick through the wild growth, and now Xie Riff walks in, just zoning the rest of G2 out. There's the charge in, almost killed Mithy in an instant, and then a straight on his vest. Pulled back by 957, exhausted down, damage is there, then fights it up, but there's the Connie corner wants it. for Condi. It's Expecto, he's the tankiest member left. Ward Lee gonna walk the game in, but after you can see lining up for the fountain. Ah, uh, they're, they're gonna potentially kill the Nexus turrets first, but they have 20 more seconds to secure that penna. What matters more to WE? The Nexus or the Penta? Nexus open, Condi. Only take moves his way forward. 